had this disposition that was like extremely inviting. I, th I think pretty much anyone that ever met him kind of liked him immediately. He, he had this calming effect on people in a lot of even really kind of high pressure situations. I see what you're saying. But I, can we do another buddy in a faster? Oh yeah. Hey there, party people. What we're doing is a little camera to uh, music video. <laughs> I mean, he treated everybody like he was their friend, like he's known them forever. He treated them with respect, loved everyone. If he didn't, he wanted to and tried to. He couldn't stand not getting along with people. He couldn't stand having bad things to say about people. He very rarely heard Josh say a negative word about anybody. He was giving, funny, loyal, just inclusive. Wanted to include everybody in everything wanted his friends who didn't know each other to be friends. Josh suffered fools. He actually loved fools. Right now, in this moment, it feels like a profound realization because I've just been judging on humanity so hard, judging myself so hard. Really, we're all just doing the best given the conditions and the environment that we uh, experienced, you know? I think people are pretty cool. People are pretty awesome. So <laughs> he became an expert at anything that he tried. I've never really seen that in anybody before. Just his ability to like kind of teach himself things to a level where like he became an expert. Josh was easily one of the most talented people I've ever known. The guy was just bridling with pure happiness and talent. He just loved talking to people and getting to know where you're from, who are you, and having a laugh, being kind. Genuine kindness, you know. He, he was genuinely kind to people he didn't know, which is a sign of true character, really. We're just a, just in the uh, jibber jab over here, and uh, getting ready to jump on the old jumpy thing, and uh, then we'll get some tape. We'll film some tape. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're doing. So then moving pictures? Yep, uh, moving, movie, movie pictures that you can watch on your telephone. You know, one of those. Of course, when I met him in New York in the 2000s, he had this wonderful fro. Beautiful. And then one day, he totally shaved his head. And somehow, he didn't lose any of his vibe. That's what kind of guy he was. At the heart of everything, Josh was just, he was a beautiful soul. If anyone was a beautiful soul, it truly was Josh. And anybody who knew him, um, I think would agree with that. He just, he, he was so beautiful inside and out. I think he elected in the end to, to just follow the peaceful path. of your own energy as you speak then so shall it be and that goes for talking about others <sighs> okay i'll get off my podium now <laughs> i love y'all y'all are doing great how to pronounce justin bieber well joe poe that would be juggy brodeltine juggy brodeltine juggy brodeltine to me, I remember just laughing a lot. He had this calming effect. He had this sense of humor where he was able to crack a joke or like say something kind of funny to like lighten the mood when it got too serious. Happy birthday, dear Arjun. It was really funny. I mean, I just remember laughing a lot. He had it all. He had it absolutely all. He had the best sense of humor that covered everything from, you know, quick wit, quips, smart ass comments to just plain out stupid, dumb, goofy, silly, and everything in between. And not minding to make fun of himself. And that, that really took it to the next level. Because when you're hanging out with somebody like that and they, they just love to make fun of themselves, there's nothing more delicious. The most valuable thing I learned in high school was just like doing random acts of kindness for people. 
Strangers just love it when you pop in and out with just like a random act of kindness, in my experience anyway. He was like this guiding light for so many people, a best friend for so many people, therapist for so many people. I mean, he had a way of personally reaching out to like every single individual he, he kind of interacted with and like kind of talking with them on their level. There was nobody like him. It was like dating somebody that you know is polyamorous. They love you, but they also love other people. You're in a polyamorous relationship with Josh. You knew that he loved you, but you knew that he loved other people as well. And that was the beauty of Josh, that he could make you feel special. You knew that he was as real with you as he was with everybody else. As far as I'm concerned, Josh's legacy, great friend in the truest sense of the word. Great bandmate, great friend, you know, a brother. His legacy to me is just the light and the life and the joy and the guidance that he brought to so many people. And just all the connections, you know, all of us are connected through him, really. I mean, I, I probably owe like half of my friendships to him, really. If there's anything I've learned from my years of, of Josh, it's to aspire to the high bar he set with his relationships with people, with me, with everybody else. And the proof is to see how many people are connected to him, how many people love him, how many people have been affected, their lives affected by him.